I can only play by playing our system, and I get it down the field every game. So I had to like challenge Stone to down the field. Alright, I guess we're already into it? Okay, so we have Wander as the Falco, uh, rocking the ill tag. Griffballer, this new Marth, this new Griffballer Marth. Is, I guess, yeah, that's, that's actually true, he's about three years old. He just, uh, he hasn't come out until now. Uh, I would argue that his Marth is probably better than his Sheik. I'd have to say, except, I mean, don't take that as an example, but... The chat up, or are we good? We're still having some technical difficulties. Yeah. It's whatever. Alright, so this is arguably, I would say, one of the closer matchups in the game. Uh, obviously Marth has insane punish game. Keys are going to be the Falco tricking the Marth as much as possible. Because if he gets grabbed, he's pretty much dead. And right now, right now it doesn't look like, uh, it actually looks a little bit like Griffball is tricking himself, so. The forward smash in neutral, the classic, so easy to follow up on a forward smash in neutral at 0%. <laughs> Speaking of, this is, a, this is actually the battle of forward smash kids. Look at that. Charges the forward smash. Started charging it last week. Finally releases it today. Oh, and does not follow that. Martha's in the lawn dart animation. Uh, usually they have to wiggle out in order to get out of the hit stun early. Another forward smash just eats that stock. Jabs. Does not react to the side B that was fairly obvious there, I'd have to say. Levias is a big fan, or sorry, Levias is Wander, but Wander is a big fan of side being right above the ledge, which is very easy to cover if you just jab or tilt or basically do anything. <laughs> but when you don't do anything, it's a pretty decent recovery. Eats a back air, goes for the dare, gets side beat out of it. And now he's in a bad spot. Marth usually... never mind. Usually Marth will get quite a bit of damage and rack it up on platforms, but not this time. Eats and uh, coming in there. Finally, see if you just throw out basically any hitbox. Uh, a little bit slow on that one. Basically, any hitbox will cover that side B above the ledge. The easiest Falco edge guard in the game is just throw them off and then throw out a hitbox where you think they might side B, and then if you get them, they die. What's up? Yeah, let's, let's do it. Oh, boy! Alright, we got Lil Mickle on stream as well. Hey, what up, guys? It's a uh, your boy, Lil Mickle. Oh, fucking, uh... <laughs> Alright, so, and, uh, first one, match one, goes one. to Wander. Oh, yo, Wander? Wander beating uh, Griff Baller? What, first game? Hell yeah. That's my guy right there. Kicking it off with the Falco. As we said, uh, I would pay attention in this matchup to... ...guards, because... ...they're a little hard to pay attention to because they're not there, but... When they're, like, that is the key to this matchup, so if they're actually going to be there, then he can beat this, this yeah. kid. Although Griffballer also has a, a sort of psychological block against Falco, I would say. Yeah, I remember, uh, what was it, he was beating, uh, he was losing to, what's his face, Adic. Yeah. For, like, a hot minute, but, I don't know. I definitely do think if he slows the fuck down, and, uh, one could argue, one could argue that, uh, that Wander could actually win this matchup by unplugging and switching the Falco to a 9. <laughs> if, if he were to do that, it might actually win a game. He doesn't even he doesn't even have to touch a controller. But I get it. I mean, there's a, this character, if there's any character to have a mental block against, it's gotta be Falco. Of course. Uh, Wander did. Yeah, because of course, I mean, Falco's like one of those characters, I mean, he's kind of brain dead, but 
If you're newer to the game or just not as skilled... He's a very frustrating character, overall. I mean, lasers just are inherently frustrating to deal with. He, he's like, he's a character that's met in the wrong game. Dog. I look at him as like a street fighter, a street fighter player, you know, a character, you know what I mean? Because he has those fucking lasers that can control a lot of the game. Right, no, no other character can really control tempo and space quite like Falco does with lasers. I would say he's sort of like the threshold guardian. Like, if you're a, a bad player, once you figure out how to play around lasers, you become a medium player. Yeah. And meanwhile, while, while we're talking all the shit on Griff, he is currently up a stock. Almost, like, a stock and a half here. Yeah. Really just needs to not get hit by, by things like that, and then he could, you know, take the stock. Good recovery, manages the sweet spot. Fair. That was a fair. Whatever. I think one of the biggest things in this matchup is you really want to make Falco nervous approaching you. Because even though, mm -hmm. like, he can shoot you with the gun, that's how far it is, is that he's just shooting with the gun. Honestly, I mean, and, and people don't understand this because they get hit with lasers and they're like, oh man, like, now he's going to approach me. Taking a laser, not bad at all. Um, especially when you have moves that come out very quickly, like Sheik's forward tilt, Sheik's down tilt. Yeah. Or even neutral air out of shield. Is pretty yeah. Uh, notable thing, and, and I haven't seen it once this entire matchup, but Falcos that are better, I guess you could say, um, will come down with, like, full hop, dare, a lot, where they, they, they take advantage of the fact that Falco has really strong hitboxes underneath them. They'll come down with really strong hitboxes, and they usually like the full hop to get around short hop, people yeah. that short hop a lot. Um, Sheik, however, has the benefit of a four-frame nair out of shield, which is pretty fantastic overall like really, uh, covering really any sort of high the one thing you do not want to do against Sheik is hit her shield high mm -hmm. and this is one of those matchups where when you're playing a worse Falco they often hit your shield high yeah they're not really like too conscious about where they're throwing their dares at you know like because late aerials are goat they are especially in like characters like Sheik and Mark where also they need that shield grab I can say one of the one of the less forward smash kid <laughs> the choo choo train <laughs> all aboard the forward smash express uh good reaction turnaround grab <laughs> let's go uh one other thing I will say that um, a lot of lower level players do when they get hit with laser, they immediately shield because they get scared. Yeah. Um, this is, I mean, this goes for a jab grab as well. Um, when people get hit by something weak, they usually shield because they think the strong is coming next. So it's a big opening for Falco. Wow, Griffballer actually took a game off of Falco. That's the first time I think I've ever seen that. Yeah, but I mean, him and uh, Wander do kind of trade games here and there. I mean, Griffballer is not entirely bad, but he is definitely bad for considering how long he has been playing the game. But I do think that Falco is that uh, as a stigma in his. He's considering the Sheik Tito. <laughs> you can, you can, you can see him physically considering. It. Do it. You want to? Uh, I think the mic's a little fucked up. It's more, or maybe he's leaning forward into it. I can't really tell. So the, you see what I'm saying? It's like off center. Try and turn it a little. We're trying to get the. We're still getting all this tech set up. The the see the the footage. Like yeah, there we go. Center it a little bit. There we go. But yeah, um, I know Wonder does have a sheik. I've seen it. Former sheik. Uh, in fact, one of the common Norta memes was the fact that he was sheik on the power rankings for like years after he had already switched to Falco. Yeah. You know, they say, "Hey, I'm not a, I'm not gonna pester you about it, but hey, I don't play sheik no more." <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. I like the sheik. I thought it was turning out pretty well. I mean, of course, you know, like you do kind of have to do some soul searching when you're trying to play this game because. Not all the time will you stick to one character because some characters can get frustrated. One of those one of those deep questions you have to ask yourself when playing the Sheik Ditto is whether you're willing to chain grab or not. Um, now I would argue that these two probably don't know how to, but like at the same time, if you do, you have to really think about like, am I that guy? Yeah. Am I really gonna do that? I think I do think it's uh, it's very optional. Like I. You can get a decent follow-up without a chain grab yeah. off of even one grab on pretty much any character with Sheik. But plus you get nice uh, tech chases too, like, and plus what's it called, uh, down throw does lead into a bunch of shit. I will say down air as an edge card there, very questionable. <laughs> uh, as it notably pops people upwards towards yeah. the stage. 
All right, so we get a couple tilts, not too much off that grab. I think it would have jump cancel grab, probably would have grabbed him. Absolutely. A little bit, a little bit faster. One of the things with, I would say, okay. I would argue that one of the keys to any good sheep is understanding that against floaties off of a down throw, a lot of times they're just going to go ahead and jump out. Yeah, um, yeah, and And so if you read that double jump with an aerial, a lot of times you're going to increase your follow-ups by about at least 20%. Yeah, no doubt. And when you're getting, you know, 50 plus percent off of each follow-up, you're going to kill them a lot faster. So one of the things, like, if you just down throw and then throw a couple tilts and call it good, you're not going to get too far. You have to win neutral an extra time if you do that, pretty much. Yeah, I agree. I, uh... <laughs> Just shoo him away. <laughs> Catches a fair and the needles and manages to not kill himself. I really do think uh, he should have stayed Falco, to be quite honest. And if Grip Waller didn't ban FD, which I know he probably wouldn't have, he would have won. Absolutely. I mean, knowing your opponent is after battle, and knowing in particular that Grip Waller struggles against a campy Falco, um, is just going to win you a lot of matches exactly. in general. You get more frustrated and I'm pretty sure it's like that's super frustrating even with the can't be Falco I know Griff Baller doesn't have that mindset to figure out how to get around it just yet. But yeah. I really do think that he should have stayed Falco at least right now. But it's still a close game. It is definitely definitely close. They're just exchanging hard commits over and over yeah. again. Yeah. But when you get a new stock, you basically have a shield without shielding a lot of the time. Yeah. Even better because you can act out of it faster. So I agree. So you look spamming down smash. And fair, that should be it. If he just grabs ledge, he doesn't seem to want to grab. Nope. All right. All right. I wonder if he'll win this game. He's just got to. Another fair. Oh no. Oh, this is actually pretty nerve wracking right now. This is. It got. It got intense here at the end. <laughs> I don't know what that oh, charge S match is for. Strange, for strange over, <laughs> overshoot in there, but it ends up connecting. Looking to just tilt him to death, apparently. Oh the, <laughs> that, was, that was still... Oh, that's it. Oh. People don't understand just how bad Sheik's forward smash is, but it's pretty rough. All right, I'm going to go play my set. I'll be back. I also believe I'm playing a set on stream, so we're going to have some new commentators here in just a minute. I'm just...